am I, I am not satisfied that further general legislation is necessary at present. We do what we can. But the honourable gentleman must realise the enormous numbers of broad economic considerations that have to be taken into account. Humankind has a history of solving problems only when it's too late. This is probably our way of doing everything with minimum effort. There are all these amazing technologies well in our reach, getting to Mars, solving the water problems in Africa or the global pollution. But it's always a question of money and effort. So instead, great things are never getting done or are done at a very slow rate. Well, I have some bad news for you. We are not going to live forever. So unless we wake up and start doing things that really matter, we might run out of time. Backed with powerful sensors capable of detecting both the chemical and the physical harmful factors, Europe Monitor Monitor is an example of a complex piece of technology driven by motivation to help people solve the pollution problem. And it's not just about your neighborhood or city, it goes way up to global scale. The portable environmental monitor addresses pollution, the kind that we are unable to see but directly affects our health and can cause life-threatening diseases. Airborne toxic chemicals, radon and radioactive dust are correlated with cases of pulmonary cancer, asthma and heart disease. Since our biological senses can do little to warn us of such possible dangers, we have designed a portable environmental monitor as a first-line detection and warning system. This is not the regular detector. Sensitive sensors are put to work to deliver all readings to the global Europe Monitor network using the integrated wireless connectivity. With a click, you see the entire world mapped in colors, hopefully as green as possible. have been milled to make the hand grip more comfortable. It has a large touchscreen, a wireless LAN antenna, a USB connector used both for data and charging, and a soft start button. The user interface provides quite a few options. We can use the unit as a radiation dosimeter or as an air quality sampling tool or simply do real-time measurements of all supported parameters. I have just enabled sounds in settings. For a quick demo, let's try the radiation dosimeter with an old watch that has its dials painted with radium paint. It is slightly radioactive. You can hear the clicks and now the alarm starts. On the main screen we see the dose estimated in microsieverts per hour and the label indicating how high that dose actually is. The bottom chart shows the dose variation in time. The second option is 
the Air Quality Sampling Tool. Four parameters are measured together and the score is computed to estimate the quality of the air. There is VOC, dust, CO2 and humidity. A label indicates the quality of the air. The values are clean, normal, polluted and danger. The VOC is the most important in computing this score. At the bottom, the chart shows all four values together. The measure option will show charts for all seven supported parameters. You see the temperature, the pressure, the humidity, the dust concentration, the CO2 and the VOC, and finally the radiation in CPM, meaning counts per minute. If wireless internet is connected, you can have all data being sent to the URAD monitor server. Here is an example of how we can connect to a wireless LAN network. We get a list of supported access points and by pressing the one we want, we'll get a connection. Now, all measured data will go online and we can see it on the URAD monitor server.